Hi, my friend. Now, I don't know if you've heard, but in the past weeks, uh, I've had the great gift of becoming a father. So Kate and I, we welcomed into a world our baby daughter, and it's been such an amazing blessing and amazing gift. And you're going to hear lots about that, I'm sure, in the weeks and months to come. The piece I wanted to talk to you about today was how do we actually manage fear to create success? And it actually relates well to what we just experienced in, in bringing our daughter Indira into this world. You know, the, the year and the months leading up to this process, both Kate and I had this extraordinary vision of what we believe, and for me from science, what birth is and how birth is to be. We see it as this beautiful, amazing process that doesn't need to be controlled. We don't have to wait for something to go wrong. We can actually just support the natural innate process of the body and the same power inside my wife that created our daughter has the same power to take her through the birthing process and deliver this extraordinary human being. The fascinating thing with that is that our society, our culture, our consciousness has so much fear, not just around the birth process, but around everything. Everybody around us were such naysayers. I couldn't believe it. Everyone's like, you know, I've had four kids. Yeah, I know you believe that. You'll see what's happened. And people just projecting their stuff onto us. And it was such a fascinating place because I just sat back in a place of quiet contemplation because in a big in a big way, they were correct. I had not been through a birth process with my own family. I've been present at birth, but not with my own child. So I'm not living with someone 24 seven like I am my wife to see what it is she's actually going through. But what I learned was that our society and consciousness generally has a fear perspective for anything. So when you're out there living your life and you want to embark on a new activity or create something in your life and all of a sudden you start telling your family, your friends, your co-workers and colleagues or the person that you know at the post office, what I found is that more often than not, that person is going to tell you how it's too hard, it can't be done and they know someone or they've been through an experience and they're essentially going to water down your, your blessing and water down your enthusiasm, your inspiration, and your motivation to bring that to life. So what I learned through this whole process is I simply had to manage the fear of other people and not let their fears be projected onto us. And that's such an amazing process that you can take with you for life. So many things that I've created in my life and, and how I've created this, this model of health and how I've ran my practice and how I've created my business and how I live my life. It's not how most people do it. And when I share it with people, the first thing they do is they jumped on me, especially years ago when I essentially hadn't created the results I knew I could create, but now I am where I am and have created those re results. People actually stand back and simply say, wow, how did you do that? The important thing to understand is that when you're in your power, when you're in your state of certainty, you don't let the ideas the opinions of other people water down what you know. So what you have to do is learn to manage the fear of other people by having daily rituals that keep you connected to your state of power and your state of certainty so you don't begin to believe them. And that's how you create success. I said to my wife, Kate, the birth process her pregnancy, the delivery, that didn't happen by accident. This has been years in the making and we weren't naive. We had def different training tools to get us through it, certain mindset. My wife and I took a childbirth education course called Hypno Babies and that actually took us to a place where my wife was able to have this extraordinary birth, a quick delivery, almost virtually, I won't say, but pain-free delivery, and it was amazing. And you can vouch for her, you can ask her, you can fire her an email, it was amazing. So whatever you're trying to do, and you feel inspired to do, and you feel connected, you know you can have it, you can have it. 
And you don't have to let the bubble of fear and the consciousness of fear out there water down your intentions and what you can do. So you gotta stay connected to your source of power by having daily rituals that turns down the volume of the opinions of other people around you and turns up the volume and the resolve and the reserve of who you are as a human being so you can create those results. That's it for this week, my friend. Have a beautiful week and we will see you soon.